Hey guys, we're to buy the bootstraps, btbootstraps.com. Check out the store, check the social media. Um, went to the gym today, like I usually do. Got out of the gym and heard that Iran had bombed or had sent 10 missiles over to our overseas bases in Iraq in retaliation to the killing of that Iranian top general, Soleimani, I think his name is. Anyway. Obviously, you know, we knew that there was going to be some escalation and, you know, I think people were anticipating it. I was personally hoping that after the bombing, the airstrike that they did on the Baghdad uh, airport tarmac, uh, that they would have maybe canceled that and said, you know what, it's probably not a good idea to fuck with America. But, no, they're going to. It, I, right when this whole thing got, or the bad, uh, the embassy was attacked, um, you had people on the media coming out here and saying that this was Trump's Benghazi. They were actually calling it Trump Ghazi. There were people on Twitter making comments about, oh, this is Trump's Benghazi. I mean, I, I swear to God, I get the impression, you know, I can't prove this, but I swear they were just hunkering and waiting for people to get killed in that embassy so that they could sit there and go, oh, look what happened on Trump's watch. Look what happened. Look what happened. Do you understand that that means that you're wanting Americans to die? You're wanting American citizens to die, American military members to die, all because of your personal hatred of the president or his policies. I mean, that speaks volumes on how incredibly effed up your mind is. No one wanted it. it it's also interesting because we were told for years that Benghazi wasn't a big deal. You know, even Hillary Clinton came out and said it's not, you know, no big deal. But now it's. Trump Ghazi, it's Trump's Ben Ghazi. So apparently it was a big deal. What changed? And it, what pisses me off is that I'm seeing comments online, I'm reading the stories online, and there's no mention as to why this escalation is happening. Okay? It starts from when they attacked us, all right? They attacked that, that civilian contractor on that military base, they killed the civilian contractor, they wounded, they wounded soldiers. So then we, in retaliation, did precision airstrikes. So they, in retaliation, attacked the embassy. So we, in retaliation, attacked the, the general, which the Pentagon has come out and declared they had intel saying that this man, this man that's responsible for the deaths of God knows how many thousands of people, at least 600 Americans that we know of, we don't know how many thousands of people this man is responsible for, his actions and what, what he's done. But this was not a good man. And I literally have heard in the news that, yes, we know he was a bad man. Yes, he was a murderer. But Trump, it, you, you, your derangement syndrome is insane. But all this is in retaliation. So now I wonder what our retaliation is going to be, because you can't back down from a bully, and that's exactly what Iran is. You know, and if you really want to think about how all this started, you can thank Obama. Thanks, Obama. It's because you kowtowed to the Iranians. You made a deal with them that didn't get approval, that didn't give us any authority to verify that they were doing what they said they were going to do. Which, lo and behold, and I'm so shocked, they almost immediately reneged on their work. Who would have seen that coming from the number one sponsor state of terrorism? But then, again, without congressional approval, decides to send $1.8 billion in the dead of night on airplanes to Iran. No, no congressional approval. No word to, you know, no word to anyone else. Just did it. And he unfroze one, what was it, $150 billion in assets that we had, that we had seized. What do you, where do you think they're getting the money to do these airstrikes? Where do you think they're getting the money to buy this artil uh, uh, artillery, these missiles, these, you know, ground-to-ground -ground missiles, these air, uh, ground-to-air missiles, things like that. The, 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 the rounds of AK-47s that they're picking up. You know, it all came from the money that Obama sent them. And they're buying it from China or Russia or God knows who else they're getting it from, North Korea, I don't know, I don't know all the 
logistical ins and outs. But they're buying with the money that was not approved to be given to them. They're buying to kill not only their own people, but to kill Americans, or at least try to kill Americans. You know, and I don't know where Iran thinks that they can just do whatever they want and there's not going to be any repercussions or ramifications. You can't, you can't capture oil tankers in the Strait of Hormuz and think that you can get away with it. You can't bomb, you can't shoot drones out of the sky, especially American drones out of the sky, and think there's not going to be any retaliation. You know, I know they like to think that they can just do whatever they want, but yeah, there's going to be retaliation. And no, I do not want to go to war. I want to, I've made that perfectly clear multiple times. I do not want to go to war. I do not want to send boots on the ground. Outside of what's absolutely necessary to gather intel, mark targets, you know, obviously you have to have some of that. But outside of the bare minimum, I don't want boots on the ground. In fact, I'd rather have their people working with us to identify the targets and then we just confirm it to verify it before we do an action and then act upon that instead of sending Americans over there. But if we have to, I understand. So all these people going, oh, it's World War III, it's World War III, you know, and almost clamoring that, oh, this is going to be so great. I, no, I don't, I don't think anyone wants that. But if you are going to attack America at America's interest, then yeah, we're going to retaliate. And I, although I wouldn't want a ground war, I have no problem with sending in, sending in every freaking missile that we possibly have on every plane that we can possibly have and annihilate the living shit out of their strongholds that we know exist. We're not stupid. We have plenty of intel to show where they're at. So if you just want to turn Iran's night sky into a fireworks display, I'm cool with that. And collateral damage, don't give a shit. Don't attack us. Don't mess with America. And one last thing, the Iraqi people in their parliament making that stupid pledge or voting about kicking out America from Iraq, fine, we'll go. You know, of course, who is helping you train and providing you weapons and material to beat ISIS? You know, because when we left last time, because you didn't want us there, how well did that work out for you? So go ahead, get rid of us. But keep in mind, if you do get rid of us, you also lose our, our income. You lose any kind of federal or, you know, aid, foreign aid. Why are we going to pay people who obviously don't want us there and they've made it evidently clear, which by the way, I'm for that. Let's go. But you guys deal with your fucking terrorists now. You guys deal with the problems that they create and the ramifications. Don't come crying to us when your people are being slaughtered. Pick up your arms from that training we taught you and defend your own damn selves. Anyway, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you later.